from the humble stone to chisel to the mighty printing press man's curiosity has always transformed the tools of our past into ground breaking inventions through trial and error methods early inventors had discovered that the power of steam could propel mighty locomotives and thus we have changed the way we travel by observing the flight of birds inventors had unlocked the secrets of aerodynamics leading to the creation of airplanes thus allowing us to soar our skies like a timeless alchemist man's curiosity has always transformed our mundane tasks to extraordinary products pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the development of products traditionally the norm has been to prioritize our needs as the old saying goes necessity is the mother of invention this norm has been followed by minimizing inconvenience or discomfort however in today's consumer centric market pleasure has become a driving force behind innovation for example our smartphones were initially designed for effective communication but the devices th- those days were very bulky so efforts have been made to make sleek designs and thus our discomfort was reduced nowadays smartphones come up with high resolution displays and very many immersive features thus enhancing the overall user experience another example is the evolution of electric vehicles initially the need was for eco friendly transportation this was followed by efforts to reduce inconvenience from limited range now pleasure has been considered through advancement in sleek designs faster charging and very many luxurious features making electric vehicles enjoyable to use so now we need to reframe our earlier quote pleasure is the mother of inventions in the past product design primarily focused on features and enjoyment but it had no shielding from environmental impact of materials this oversight of us has led to many unsustainable practices which i would say uh, include excessive resource consumption and pollution if we take the case of the cement industry cement production is a very significant contributor to carbon dioxide emissions this is due to the energy intensive process of heating limestone and very many other raw materials in high temperature kilns these emissions contribute to climate change and global warming also manufacturing cement generates air pollutants like nitrogen oxides and sulfur dioxide which also have detrimental effects on human health the extraction of the raw materials can lead to habitat destruction and loss of biodiversity another contributor of large scale water consumption is our textile industry dyeing and finishing processes often involve use of toxic chemicals that are discharged to waterways this causes water pollution and also harms our aquatic ecosystems the cultivation of cotton for fabric requires water 
and very many other pesticides and also the manufacturing process such as spinning weaving consume large amounts of energy and release emissions so the textile industry our fast growing fashion models leads to excessive waste generation the textile waste include discarded garments and scraps of fabric which always end up in landfills contributing to environmental degradation we always say solar energy is a renewable and clean source of power in fact it produces minimal greenhouse gas emissions it also helps our planet to combat the climate change but after its use the disposal of solar cells presents very many challenges solar cells contain hazardous materials such as lead cadmium and arsenic which pose risk to human health recycling process of solar panel would include components such as glass and metals where safe handling of materials is required also electronic waste such as semiconductors transistors resistors etc has to be treated in accordance with local regulation for e waste disposal Open LCA the open source life cycle assessment software takes into account the product system and goes through the entire life cycle it gives valuable insights into identifying hotspots of environmental impact this allows us to have a proactive approach to redesigning of many materials used in the process optimize our material processing and reduce waste generation thereby implementing sustainable disposal practices in the last four videos we were designing the product system of a plastic water bottle we had looked into various raw materials and processing methods in this video we will look at the various methods to assess the environmental impact of a product system nexus.openlca.org has a variety of databases for specific applications these databases also support a large number of processes some of the databases you can see in the leftmost corner you can see agri balis eco invent agri footprint environmental footprints uh, needs bioenergies.dat etc you can type a database name in the search option and you can see the various processes on the right hand side and uh, here if uh, when i type eco invent i can see the various processes based on organic chemicals and um, you can also type in um, various other databases name in the search options now if i type agri balis which is again a database uh, it gives the processes based on agri balis which is actually uh, the processes based on agricultural production here you can see various processes based on grape early production uh, integrated variety conventional variety uh, like that so any of the processes you can choose based on your raw materials so it is actually a pef database the location is based on france then if i uh, type in uh, echo invent now you can see uh the various databases and processes based on uh organic chemicals um which is based on uh, chemical factories uh, epoxy resin production styrene production etc 
now uh, so all of these databases can be uh, provided in the search options and you can get the various processes based on your raw materials now i i can type uh, another database which is called as the uh, needs database so if i type in the needs database it gives the processes based on electricity and lignite production then if i uh, click on bioenergies.dat it gives uh, an account of bioenergy in german language now coming to open lca we have the pet bottle production as the product system and uh, you can have on the right hand side you can see the product is pet bottle filled with a mass of 1.065 kg and you can see the model graph as you click on the model graph button then uh, you can see the various processes associated with uh, raw materials Uh, for pet granulate production then pet processing uh, pet transport and filling of pet bottle with water so this is the complete graph of the uh, pet bottle production and now it is uh, time to calculate the environmental impacts of each of the above processes we again come to the general information menu in the general information menu we press the calculate button now i get calculation properties here i have selected allocation method as none and impact assessment method as cmlia non baseline so how to select the impact assessment method is based on uh the methods open lca lcia methods which has been installed in our system and if i click on the indicators and parameters in the elcd database you can see the open lca lcia method coming in and this method consists of a large number of uh, impact assessment methods here when i click on the impact assessment methods you can see the uh, number of methods which are coming and the first one is the aware method we will see some of these methods uh, when we click on the aware method you can see on the description box if i click on the aware method you can see i click on the aware method Uh, you can see here that the in the description it uh, it is actually compatible with eco invent agri balis etc and uh, if i um, click on the impact categories you can see that it gives us uh, the water use in your product system water use in your product system the next method that i'll be using is bees plus so we are discussing only the important methods bees plus is actually compatible with eco invent agri balis etc uh, and you can see the impact categories in addition to the water use uh, it also gives an account of eco toxicity eutrophication eutrophication uh, global warming uh, then cancer uh, the amount of cancer associated with cancer particles or pollutants are associated with that indoor air quality ozone depletion smog etc that is the bees plus and then the next method comes in is cmlia baseline it is compatible with eco invent agri balis etc and the impact categories you can see additional impact categories like such as abiotic depletion on fossil fuels Uh, then fresh water aquatic eco toxicity has been taken into account marine aquatic eco toxicity ozone layer depletion has been taken into account the next method we will see is ef 3.0 method adapted which is also compatible with eco invent and you can see that uh, in addition to the Uh, impact categories we have human toxicity that is whether uh, your product system has some toxicity related to cancer inorganic uh, materials uh, whether it is used like that then the next database i would like to discuss is ilcd 2011 midpoint plus 
here the impact categories is particulate matter uh, which is taken in additionally taken into account then water resource depletion ionizing radiation land use climatic change etc that is ilcd 2011 midpoint plus the last one we will discuss is edip 2000 3 which uh, also is compatible with agri balis it takes an account of uh, the eco toxicity uh, with soil then uh, global warming human toxicity in air soil water ozone depletion uh, then ozone formation in humans ozone formation due to human activities um, uh, similarly due to our vegetation uh, resources which are been utilized and terrestrial eutrophication and if you look at the right hand side of these impact categories the units of all the uh, parameters are also presented so this is how the impact measurement is done using the various methods you are watching htech tutorials for more educational content like share and subscribe